Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and um, place the floor plans that we made onto the sheet. So we have a composition sheet, and if you take a look, we have these floor plans here, and if I pick the first one, it's set to 32nd of an inch, and it's kind of cleaned up and all that kind of stuff, and so we'd like to do that for this plan A5 and A6 that we just made, but we need to make duplicates of them. So I'm going to select A5 and right click on it and duplicate view. Just duplicate it. And then I'm going to click on it and you, if you double click kind of slowly, you can just come in here and rename it. Right, and I'm going to do the same thing for plan A6. The idea is that you have one plan that's kind of messy and one plan that's kind of clean. So for example, plan A1 has all that stuff in it. Plan A1 schematic, which is placed on the sheet, is kind of cleaned up. So now we need to clean up and reset plan A5 schematic so it works. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is come over and set a scope box. So it's going to crop it to this box right here, which we're going to talk about how to make those a little later. So I'm just going to set it to scope box A. I'm also going to change the scale of it because the scale that's on the sheet is 32nd of an inch and this is eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to come in here and let's scroll down a little bit till we get to 32nd. Right, and the you'll notice the sections disappear. Sections will disappear if if you set a scale smaller than the scale in which they were created. They were created an eighth of an inch and we went to 32nd, so they're set to um, disappear. If I undo that, set it back to an eighth of an inch, and I pick one of these, you'll see that it says hide at scales coarser than one, equal, one inch equals 20 feet. So that must have been what it was created in. So once it gets smaller than that, so if I come in and go you know, down to 132nd, it hides it, okay? So we kind of have that cleaned up. You'll notice that the scope box is kind of clipping that guy off and we'll, we'll fix that in, in just a minute. But once we have that set up, we can go to our composition sheet and we can pull that plan A5 schematic, right, onto the sheet and it will place it. And so it wants to line it up. You can see those blue alignment lines. We have a, uh, a couple of things going on. One is we have this view title that we don't particularly want. So I'm going to pick the view itself, come over to the type selector, and pick viewport gray number only. Right? And then there is a, a crop region showing here that we can turn off. It won't print. Um, the reference planes won't print either. But if you want it to be really clean, you can sort of double click on this view. And that will take us to the view properties instead of the sheet properties. And that opens up this area down here, which means you can turn the crop region off or hide it. And then you double click outside. Now we can go to our plan A6 schematic and kind of repeat that process, right? And we're going to talk about how you can do this more quickly a little later on um, with view templates. So you won't have to do this over and over and over again but this one's pretty quick. So I'll close that and then just drag plan A6 out, see, get the little blue alignment lines, and then while it's selected, change it to the gray number only, and then double click on it. And if you want to turn off the crop region so it looks more like when it prints, then you can. Okay. Um, 